first step is you can use sorters to make your core wider thus giving it more inputs but you can use vaults so you can see here to make it wider now you'll think like that's the biggest but you can actually make it bigger by using sorters put, put it in a square and using sorters to fill the gap now that is the biggest and we can like put like things like conveyors everywhere like this like the biggest it can go next one uh, you probably know this like I'd say like 30% of the player base and minus three know this but you can make in like instant transportation just by doing this now here we can see like it's very much instant by look at that instant let's people know that you can put three conveyors in this look at this and that is gonna like produce three now we can actually double this by putting six conveyors like double this in it but you're probably wondering like how can you put three in like another three in? there's only three inputs three outputs how can it be six that's easily answered by distributors if you just place one on both ends We can put six conveyors here and six outputs here. Wait, there's like still some stored. And if you put the inputs and like remove one, we can see like it's you know that's not like immense input output. Look at that. To visualize this what three conveyors looks like. This is like way too like thick. We can easily compress this by just doing this. See? That's the other tip. Next one is junctions. Look at this. What most people don't know is that they store stuff directionally. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just make my point by doing it. If you place all of it here, as you can see it's storing a lot. Now, to put all the materials out. See? Storing all the materials. Now all of this is just from one junctions. This is like multiplied by a lot if you just put like two or even three. That's like a lot. But most of the time two is already big enough. Like what like already what you need. So it like the easiest way to get in and out like to get the stuff in and out is by using distributors and then running like a titanium conveyor through them so it makes like a circle now let's just fill it up there we go and then put a conveyor for the input output you see you know that's a lot just from two junctions look at that that's gonna produce a ton next thing I've not like seen a lot of people know about is that separators can function as conveyor belts let's do it here look we're just gonna do this wait it needs to be like nothing must be selected and then we put our thing here look at that if we it's actually instant but the throughput is bad look delete and it stops add so it's it's pretty much instant I'm pretty sure like this just like a flex to people since these are these stuff are expensive like 30 30 silicone and 25 like just for one this like a Gucci Gucci conveyors I call them next thing I've seen a lot of people not do is I'll just show it in my the playing the hardest map in my industry in the beginning of the video we can see that I use conveyors to ex to make the con the crawlers explode since if they get anything near like an object they explode so you can basically do that to clear out crawlers instead of like your walls tanking them next up in the video it shows that I uh, use shock mines to like damage the eradicators before it reaches my defenses so like that's the like with like shock mines you can basically destroy like an eradicator on a, like a 1v1 as long as you know how to dodge 
Next up, these two uh, uses uh, unloaders. The first one is in separators. If we give it power and slag, it's gonna release materials. Yet, it's unorganized. I've seen most people just like do this. You know, for me, that's not that good. You can sort it out when it comes out of the separator. And I can demonstrate that here by using separators. And here. You probably already know this. But that's not the main tip. The main tip is like, what if like you don't have silicone or something? I don't think you need silicone for separators. Yeah. You, you don't need silicone and separators right yeah like you've not like gotten silicone yet so the best way for me is basically just use sorters to sort it look here so we're just gonna put two here for copper two here for lead two here for graphite And then another two here for titanium and we can see that it's sorted out easily look at that so that's one way to separate it next one is you know how to like uh, give materials to factories like the drone factories so here it's like it needs 40 silicon and titanium so Silicon here and titanium. Titanium. Now it's getting all the stuff it needs. The best way to give it is get one here for silicon, unloader for titanium, and that's it. As easy as that, and that's all you need for distributing. Put that and then power it up. Of course, I always use this in PvP. It always destroys the person. Not a lot of people know how to kickstart properly. I've seen a lot just like... Let, let me just demonstrate it. Two steam generators and one water extractors. Here. Just put two. And then our coal, which is our input. There. As we can see, like, they're both fully loaded, but... The way to kickstart is basically as simple as this. One combustion, coal, put it in. That's it, that easy. A lot of people just like put a, where is it? Steam gender here, and then like a battery. Including me, I used to do this. And then like a battery, and then wait for it to fill up, and then start it that way. This is the more easier way. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And that's all the tips that I don't think most people know. Of course, if you like the video, like it. If you like my content, then subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.